Good morning. How are you guys doing on this morning? Um, happy Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know a day I'm on. I never know a day I'm on. It's so terrible. But maybe that's because I work that much that I don't ever know a day I'm on. But anyway, y'all excuse my my look this morning. I, um, I'm headed to the gym. So y'all never catch me headed to the gym because um, typically on the phone or I'm listening to a sermon so um very very seldom do you catch me live going live headed to the gym but um or I'm coming out of the gym so anyway um I won't be on here very long um because I have literally 15 minutes before my 8 a.m workout with my trainer so <laughs> I'm gonna drop this on you and then I'm out this is all I got 15 minutes is it um but good morning share the live tag somebody it's gonna be a blessing um this morning um first off i love facebook memories good morning y'all i love facebook memories because facebook memories really be reminding me of how far i've come and this morning my facebook memories had oh lord they had it just blessed me so i was like lord like you were showing out like that two years ago in my life like oh my goodness and so, um, and so anyway, um, if you haven't seen some of the clips that I shared uh, on my page, check them out. Let them be a blessing to you today and be a reminder um, to you today that um, it's all going as planned. And um, I'm in a season right now of faithing it. Literally uh, stepped out on faith and just, um, just really in a season where I'm just like, okay, God, I know this isn't me. Like, I know this you. So because I know this is you and because I'm standing on your promises and you remind me that your word will not return unto us void. Um, like this on this one on you. You know what I'm saying? Like this one is legitimately on you. And this morning God reminded me, um, he said it's all going as planned. And so I just wanted to encourage somebody this morning that what you're facing right now, it may not look like the end result that God promised you. It may not look like what he said it was going to look like right now in the process, but just know that it's going as planned. And so, hey, Laquita, so uh, good morning, great morning. So as people are asking you, you know, because sometimes when you tell people, what you're believing God for or when you share with people like you know maybe something that you're working on or you're striving for you know people will constantly kind of check in and sometimes when you're when you know when you're in the middle of that thing you know there's moments when you're walking with God that it don't look like you're walking with him or it looks like or it start looking like he may not come through or it kind of starts looking it, it looks dim you know what I'm saying like it starts to look grayish real grayish and when it starts to look grayish a lot of times we get afraid and we think okay well maybe god we start second guessing ourselves in the in that gray season and then we'll be like well maybe god didn't say this or maybe i did it wrong or maybe i didn't go about it the right way or maybe god didn't tell me to go that boldly into the thing but god said this morning it's going as planned it's going as planned. So when people start asking you, well, girl, how did, how your workout plan going? It's going as planned. Girl, how is, how are you uh, getting through school? It's going as planned. How was that business that you said you were going to go ahead and go forth in? It's going as planned. Sometimes, you know, people, um, people will, will make you nervous about your own blessing. And they didn't even hear the word that you heard. You know what I'm saying? And they'll be wanting to check in and, and they'll be wanting to know how it's going and, you know what well, do you really and then they'll, and then they'll start projecting their their negative um mindset thoughts into into your blessed place and then they'll start doing stuff saying stuff like well you sure i mean because that's kind of well that's kind of no it's going as planned period so you know and, and it's so funny you sometimes you have to protect the thing that God has that the word that God has given you you know sometimes you know we we get so excited about where God has taken us that we'll share it with people who sometimes don't always have the capacity to go long term you know they may have the capability to hear it and understand it but they don't have the capacity to run the race of endurance and so they'll make you start feeling like um well I mean 
I don't know if I would have jumped out there like that. Or I don't know if I would have did this like that. I don't know if I would have. It's going as planned. So when people start asking you how 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 was that relationship going? How was that how was that relationship going that God told you was gonna have, but it ain't happened yet? It's going as planned. <laughs> it's going as planned. Because people love doing that, checking in. And sometimes, you know, and sometimes they're doing it because they just genuinely, you know, they're concerned and they want to know. But sometimes Sometimes you don't need them to know because sometimes the, the, the problem is depending on their faith and their faith level and how far they've gone with God, they can make you feel like, like they'll make you second guess yourself. And that's the, and that's the trick of the enemy. And so you want to surround yourself with people that see stuff in the supernatural. You want to surround yourself with people that know what it's like to call a thing before a thing. You want to be around people that say, girl, I know what it looked like, but see, we're going to pray about it. And then we're going to war in that thing. And we're going to Psalms 37 it. And we're going to, you know, we're going to shut this scripture. We're going to, we're going to remind ourselves, we're going to bathe ourselves in this word. And we're not going to allow our faith to be wavered because the book of James reminds us that any, any person, a person that is double-minded is wayward in all their ways. And if you are double-minded, then you can't please God. God, because if you thinking that he for you, but you also waiting for him to be against you, then you ain't made up your mind yet. So you got to hang with people that know what it's like to, to not see it naturally yet, but to know it spiritually. So they still walk in it boldly as if it's already there. When you start sharing, good morning, Ms. Verna. When you start sharing with people that have teeter totter faith, they'll, they'll start, they'll stop, they'll disrupt your faith. And so this morning, God said, it's going as planned. So I just wanted to release that out into the atmosphere this morning that it doesn't matter what it looks like right now. If God said it, you can count on it. He going to do what he said. He said the, the vision, it may tarry, but it's for an appointed time. And in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. So don't worry about what it's looking like. Don't worry about the person that said no. Don't worry, baby, because let me tell you something about the Holy Spirit. You'll be trying to say no to a thing. People are going to turn you down one time before. Good morning, Kamisha. People will have turned you down the last time, but God said, not this time. You won't be denied this time. This time is going to work out for your good this time. Good morning, Jennifer Ward. This month, this time it's going to work. So when people start asking you, how are things going? Just tell them it's going as planned and let them sit with that. And when you tell people what's going, it's going as planned, it's not that you're trying to be funny. You just letting people know that it's going the way God said it was going to go. Like it's going the way God said it was going to go. Girl, I need the details. You can't handle the details right now. As I get the details, when God tells me to share it, then I shall. Until then, I mean, I, I got I to gotta protect the word that God has given me because I don't want to contaminate it with your teeter-totter faith. Some people, they can't handle the faith. Everybody can't handle the faith movement lifestyle. They want to know they want to hear about it. You know, they, they may want to romanticize with it every now and again, but everybody can't handle what it's like. They talk about it. People talk really good games and they'll be like, you know, oh yeah, because I have faith for this and that. Girl, you ain't had no real faith. You ain't have no real faith until you start looking stupid. That's when you have real faith. When, when, when it makes you look stupid, when it makes you look crazy, when it don't even make sense and the only explanation you got is... Is going as planned. Like literally, that's the only. That's all you have is that it's going as planned. You know, because he said, you know, I knew Jeremiah one and five. I knew you. I knew you in your in your mother's womb. I knew you. I knew what you were predestined to do. I knew Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. I knew, and I know what I think of you, and I know what what plans I have right for you. And so in this season, it's okay to protect the word that God has given you and to tell people sometimes it's going as planned and just leave it at that because the last thing you want to do is you don't always know what other people's um, environment their climate is and depending on their climate they'll put their climate in your atmosphere and then it becomes a mess so that's why you gotta you gotta sometimes you just gotta just hide that word in your heart that you may not sin against God. You know, first Peter's three and seven reminds us about our words. You know, if you don't if you don't want um, things to, negative um, words to, to interact in your atmosphere, 
you got to first arrest your mouth. Sometimes you just got to shut up. How about that? That's a word. Sometimes you just got to sit with that and shut up and just remind yourself, wait, this is going as planned. I know what it looked like, but I know what God told me. And I and I, I know when I hear God, it ain't when I hear God, it ain't no question. I'm not teetering on my faith. I'm not tr- like, well, depending on the mood. No, if he said it, that's it. I believe it. I know him. I done tried him one time too many. I done played crackhead games with him one time too many. I done played them whole, well, God, you know, them Gideon games. Well, God, if this really you do this and that to, to prove to me, I done been there. So at this stage, of the, at this level of faith that I'm at, I'm at like ignorant faith. Well, you just, you just don't even know. All you know is you got faith. All you know is what God promised you. All you know is what God said. So this morning, I just want to encourage somebody as I encourage myself. It's going as planned. How was that going? How 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 was that? How you about to get your house? How's that going? As planned, baby, Kamisha, straight crackhead games. I have played them with him. The straight played them with him, and and I never won. That's the other part. I've never won any time I played with him. So in this season, in this climate, you remind yourself it's going as planned. Yeah, people may not see it. People may not understand it. People may say you crazy. That's good. It's going as planned. That's the word of the Lord for the whole day. When people ask you something, girl, how is that, how is that going again? It's going as planned. Then they're going to be looking crazy. Because, see, that's the thing. I don't, I don't know if you listening or the enemy listening. So let me just go ahead and put y'all both in the same boat together. It's going as planned. That's how it's going, as planned. Well, when you gonna talk about it when I can? I mean, when he releases me. Right now, I gotta be in a posture of, 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 of fasting, holding to my faith and prayer. I don't have time to explain to you details that you're not gonna even understand. So until he releases these lips to share that with you, I ain't gonna do it. I can't, until I can make heads or tails with it, I can't do it. Until I can figure out, okay, exactly what God is saying about this situation, I'm not going to go and try to make it something, uh, make make it something that is not just so I can be comfortable with what it is. So when people begin to, to just, you know, ruffle your feathers and they want to know, oh, they, they want to know so bad, allegedly, you just got to hit them with that. It's going as planned for it was written. <laughs> he said the vision is for an appointed time. So it's going as planned. And if God and when God has us in that season of great, he's strengthening our faith. He's strengthening those those muscles. He's increasing those other sensory skills that we don't use often, like listening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He he's he's increasing those other sensory skills that we don't use all the time. Right? Like touch, smell, you know. Uh, so don't be concerned that in this season that it may look a little dim and it may look a little gray and you know it may it may not look like it's about to happen but God said surely <laughs> surely if I if I gave you a word I ain't never seen him go back on his word people will go back on their word hmm that's the part Miss Verna it's God's plan not mine look the plan chose me I didn't choose the plan the anointing chose me. I didn't choose the anointing. <laughs> the blessing chose me. I didn't choose the blessing because I wasn't even that smart enough to ask for the blessing. How about that? That's how we know. This is God's plan. This is his doing. And his work is marvelous. His work is marvelous. And whatever whatever he's got to take me through or get me through so I can get to my destined place, God, I'm willing to follow you. You know, you got people all the time saying that for his glory, they going to do anything. No, you're not because you have exceptions with that. Well, as long as it don't require flying. Baby, stop playing with God. If you have an exception, then you're not ready to follow him. Period. Because I follow him like ain't nobody's business. It just, it be like just retarded stuff. Like, you be like, where you going? What you doing? You know what's going on? No. I don't because my head is in the word and not in the world. I don't have, we ain't at the same thing. I already understand that I'm in the world. I'm not of it. I'm here to impact it. I'm not trying to, uh, I don't have time to fit in. I don't have time to be a copy when God said I was a blueprint. 
for you to copy. See, it's not the same. We ain't the same thing. And that's okay. And sometimes people got to, you just got to know that, you know, you just got to know that, um, that you're not the same as others and walk in that and be a, being an assurance of that. So I just wanted to drop that off in your spirit this morning as I pull up. Because I, I consistently stay with what I know I should be doing and focusing on. Sometimes we mind God's business more than we mind our own. But if we just be about minding our own business. <laughs> mind your own business. Stay in the word. Stay in the work. Uh, stay focusing on what he has for you to do. You know what I'm saying? If you stay in that, then you'll be able to hit people with that. It's going as planned. And I, I give it to people all the time. And I be like, oh, how's that going? It's going as planned. I'm not minding God's business. I done left him with who he needs to be left with. I done left his children where he, well, them him kids. This his, them, look, I ain't got to worry with people. They belong to the Lord. They not my kids. I only birthed two children. Two, these other folks are not my kids. They are not my priority and they are not my worry. So I'm not going to spend my time worrying about something that's not my business. I stay about my father's business. And when I stay about his business, I don't have time to focus on stuff that don't pertain to me. So you just let this be a blessing and a noted note to you today. It's going as planned. And you walk in that. God's going to do it. He's not going to make you look like a fool. He's not going to He's not gonna make you uh, out to look crazy. He's not a man that he should lie. People lie. He don't. Have a, keep that in mind. People lie. He don't. So please know this. He's not going to make a fool out of you. Not this time. You're not going to look crazy this time. This time is going to be the time because time is of the essence. So I pray that um, what anything that I say have blessed you. Share the live. Tag somebody. Send it to their DM privately. Uh, and today, just start telling people. It's going as planned. How's that process? It's going as planned. And say it with, uh, with all types, all types of confidence. It's going as planned because it is on purpose so i love you guys i'm gonna get my workout in because it's going as planned and i work out on these days anyway <laughs> so i love y'all have a good one bye